don't think about using that leading edge. Most amateurs have a tendency to lean the shaft forward and what that does, it takes the bounce off of the club and the leading edge digs in. They try to get the leading edge under the ball. I think if they thought about using the bounce, now that is the trailing edge of the golf club, get that at the bottom of the ball. That's it in their mind, the visual, they want to do that instead of using that leading edge because that leading edge just has a tendency to dig in. Change your hand and ball position there. Hand, there you go, hands back a wee bit. Perfect, right there, right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Right there. That's it. Just a little setup. It's just strictly to use that bounce a little bit. Don't lean the shaft too much forward. Three to seven degrees is what I like to say. The max, right in that range, and that's very slight. That's not a lot. Get, you still, and that way there, you can still use the bounce. You, I want you to engage the bounce. That was both support. You just, you're bringing it up. There it is. Watch out. Good swing, there it is, I love that. Watch this, whoop. Nice. You want to have a couple of clubs that can do each. I like the bounce in the rough that you can use in your sand wedge. And then when you're in a bunker, if you've got a high lit bunker, then you can use your, your, your lob wedge. But you can also use your sand wedge. I like using the sand wedge in the rough because the sole allows you and bounce allows you to go through a little easier than it would be trying to use the lob wedge. Lob wedge has a tendency to take a little bit too much of the rough. And it's very, very tough, but if you get really tangly rough, I'd rather see you use the sand wedge.